Hello, my name is Dallas Miles with Info Beyond Technology. Today I'll be pitching you our latest product, VeChain, a blockchain reminiscent intra vehicle CAN, a control area network bus security tool. The problem currently, the standard for intra vehicle communication is the CAN bus system. The Army GVSC and DOD ground systems utilize CAN bus communication standards for embedded systems in the Army's manned, unmanned, electronic, and autonomous vehicles. The inherited nature of CAN protocol limitations creates vulnerabilities that can lead to cybersecurity failures. As I'm sure you are all aware, cybersecurity is becoming increasingly important in the civilian and military operations. Our current solutions for increased CAN bus security are hardware add-ons, CAN bus protocol modifications, and centralized security control. These solutions come with a couple of problems, such as increased cost for hardware add-on, backwards incompatibility, and a single point of failure. The solution. VeChain is a tool that we believe should be utilized to enhance security without the drawbacks of current solutions. VeChain currently offers a distributed and decentralized message confidentiality and validation for intra-vehicle communication networks. Using blockchain-like decentralization increases the stability of the system and doesn't allow for a single point of failure. We also have easy integration into existing CAN bus through firmware revisions, so no hardware add-ons that could be costly and inefficient. We are compatible with legacy systems such as CAN and MILCAN. We also have proactive threat resilience in CAN bus through self-reboot recovery mechanisms, meaning that if VeChain detects a problem, it can reboot itself without the need for human interaction. VeChain can also lessen communication overhead and delay due to its integration in the CAN bus system. Implementation. Some examples of cybersecurity enhancements for the U.S. Army ground vehicle systems are supporting secured robotic mobility, crew station integration, autonomous navigation, embedded ICS or industrial control system, systems architecture for the overall health and structure of a system, sensor technology, human robot interactions such as enhanced security for leader follow up program, GBSC engineers, METD, RCB, etc and also telematics or onboard diagnostics and how they communicate with each other. Now on to a comparison of our product to our competitors. GM's MLS or multi-level security and BAE's PBISA or platform battlefield information system application. With regards to universal compatibility, GM and BAE solutions are only compatible with MILCAN, while VeChain is universally compatible with both. When it comes to distributed message validation, GM offers a centralized intrusion detection system, or IDS, which gives it one point of failure to bypass an attack. BAE uses multi-master authentication, which allows for multiple points of failure. VeChain offers a decentralized control system that provides extra security as there is not a centralized point of failure. GM and BAE provide no authenticity and confidentiality in messaging respectively. VeChain has a blockchain-enhanced cryptographic key regeneration mechanism which you can compare to a sort of ultra-coded message. GM and BAE also don't offer any node-based resiliency. VeChain enhances the existing error handling mechanisms by maneuvering compromised nodes into restrictions or recovery. These predictions allow VeChain to provide unique value propositions to the Army and the DoD. Next, we have some VeChain Department of Defense marketing examples, such as the Army Aviation and Missile Command, the Aviation and Missile Command Redstone Arsenal, the U.S. Army Sustainment Command in Rock Island, the NAVSUP Fleet Logistics Center in San Diego, the Naval Air Systems Command, Defense Counterintelligence Security Agency, Air Force Sustainment Center, DEVCOM Army Research Laboratory, the Missile Defense Agency, Hill Air Force Base, Defense Information Systems Agency, the ONR Program Managers, DARPA Tactical Technology Office, the U.S. Special Operations Command, 316th JBA, or Joint Base Andrews, and Defense Threat Reduction Agency. And to the right is a simplified version of how our tool works. Our tool takes messages and runs them through a security and validation process during communication of intra-vehicle systems. I'll give you a second to look over. In conclusion, cybersecurity will be key to future military operations. As the world transitions to more and more technology-based systems, we have new avenues to defend ourselves against. 
Current solutions to CAN bus security are not nearly as efficient and cost sensitive as VeChain. Current solutions come with hardware add ons and major protocol revisions. VeChain can work in existing environments with small firmware revisions. The easy implementation makes widespread adoption of VeChain very possible. Decentralized security measures mean greater protection. A decentralized security means not one singular point of failure where hackers can attack and exploit our systems. Once again, this has been Dallas Miles and Info Beyond Technology LLC. Thank you for your time.